Every day, Korean movies and TV dramas moving into the global market shine light onto great acting talent. And we're not talking about the main cast. We're talking about the skills of the supporting actors. These are the people who add the necessary zest to a production, and we bring them to the forefront each week on Hashtag Super Scene Stealers. There's something so captivating about this actor. He has an air that's both completely nondescript and ordinary, but also sharp and charismatic. He's a master of paradox, being able to deliver the most impactful performance with characters that are extremely bland and average. He's the actor who can melt into any role with ease, actor Song se -byuk. Song se -byuk is adored by audiences and colleagues alike, and we're going to learn more about this super scene stealer today. Song Se-byuk left a very strong impression on the public in the 2010 movie, The Servant. He portrayed the magistrate, Pyeon Hak do and mesmerized audiences with his comical yet utterly believable performance. It was after the servant that Song Se Byuk became famously known as the made for period productions actor. 그런 말씀을 좀 듣고 있는데요. 사극을 제가 또몇번안 해봤는데요. 막상 해보니까 또 굉장히 옷이 잘 맞는 느낌이 들더라고요. 저는. Later he chose another period production, the movie The Huntresses. 야! 야! 저 개집 저 얘! 너뭐뭐 뭐, 너는 왜 나를 이렇게 보냐? 가만 보니 참 희한한 놈이구만. 아, 나참 이거 어이가 없어서. Though the movie wasn't a big commercial success, Song Se Byuk made audiences laugh in his role as Constable Song who he portrayed with a lively air and the most ridiculous costumes. More recently, he made an ambitious move into a period piece that paid off. Song Se-byuk molded himself into Kim Se-jong, a Joseon dynasty sorikun, which is a performer of the traditional musical storytelling genre pansori. He was applauded for both his acting and sori skills. <laughs> 부근 기본적으로 연습을 많이 했었고요. 예? 소리적인 부분은 이제 우리가 사실 굉장히 제가 이 시나리오를 처음 봤을 때이 소리와 북이 부분 때문에 굉장히 사실은 망설였습니다. 음. 이거 과연 잘 해낼 수 있을까? 근데 감독님이 그런 말씀을 하시더라고요. 어, 그렇게 따지면 직접 그 국립국악원이나 거기서 이제 실제로 북을 치시는 분이나 소리를 하신 분을 캐스팅할 수밖에 없다. 음. 또 듣고 보니까 맞는 말씀이시더라고요. 그쵸? 그래서 아 이거는 연습밖에 없다 해서 이렇게 <웃음> 연습을 열심히 했었던 것 같습니다. While he does have a knack for comical performances, Song Se Byuk is also quite skilled in masculine roles with much more dimension. He boasts a certain om fatal appeal in the productions that require it. 송세벽이라는 그 아, 배우를 좋아해서 예. 예, 일단은 첫 번째 이유는 새벽이 하고 때문에 예, 같이 연기를 하고 싶고 또 친해지고 싶어서 예. 송세벽 씨도 영광이시겠네요 사실 주연 배우가 나 때문에 결, 출연을 결심했다 예아 <웃음> <웃음> 감사합니다 예 아무튼 시나리오 너무 즐거웠었고 어, 따뜻해서 예. Song se Byuk even has the appeal and charm to sway casting decisions of big-time Hallyu star Yoon Sang-hyun. Yeah. 
Song Se-byuk starred alongside actor Yoon Sang-hyun in the movie A Dynamite Family as Tong Su, a mobster and tattoo artist. Audiences got to see a different side to the actor, a gangster who never minced his words and always jumped in on the action. Song Zebyuk was successful in changing up his image with a dynamite family. We heard later that the success was well deserved. In A Dynamite Family, he brought dark comedy to the screen, and in the movie A Girl at My Door, he just brought the darkness. Song Se Byuk played the part of a father who abused his stepdaughter both verbally and physically. He gave an intensely compelling performance of his evil antagonist character. Sector 7 was a thriller about a team of oil rig workers who are stranded on an oil rig and have to fight for their life against an unidentifiable creature. Song Se Byuk was cast as the very competent engineer character, Ko Jong Yoon, and he showed great on screen chemistry with another well known scene stealer, actor Pak Chol Min. The film Mother, directed by the famed Pong Juno, is considered to be his debut movie. Song Se Byuk played a detective in this suspenseful movie about a small town murder, a mentally challenged son, and the mother who would do anything to protect him. He moves easily from period productions to modern-day flicks. He slips in and out of comedy, action, and thriller genres. Song Se Byuk always brings his very best to the table, no matter what the role. Shall we see how he does with productions that require a bit more romance? He co-starred with pretty actress Yi Shi Young in the movie Meet the In-Laws. Song Se Byuk's character was named Hyun Jun, a naive young man who pursued a dangerous love despite his family's disapproval and objections. <laughs> He co-starred with the sexy starlet Kang Ye-won in the movie My Ordinary Love. In My Ordinary Love Story, Song Se-byuk played hyun Suk. Another sweet and innocent young man who gets involved in a tale of true love. He played the naive romantic to perfection. A real actor who has made his way into the limelight using sheer determination, intense performances, and is remembered for his strong individuality. Today's super scene stealer was Song Se Byuk, and we look forward to seeing more of his brilliant performances in the years to come. The more you get to know them, the more you can't help but become mesmerized by their acting talent and charm. Which super scene stealer will we meet next time? Make sure to tune in to find out.